panorama, pronounced panorama, or just the Rama, is a terrifically grassy aerodrome south of Johannesburg near Mayersdal and right next to Sundowners, for those who frequent that fine establishment. It's nestled at the northern sector of the Johannesburg helicopter training area, but within the Rama sleeps something special, perhaps even a little sexy. It even has a turbo in it. Um, what is the plan today? <laughs> Continue to walk. How do you really want me to walk? Are you going to follow from behind me? Just or? Just look at the camera like I'm just sort of following you, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Good morning. Welcome to Panorama Airfield. It is 6.30 in the morning. Um, we've just got another safari on his way in to land. And today we're going to be doing some formation flying. Going to grab some breakfast in Paris, fly along the Vol River. Um, so yeah, that should be pretty fun. I'm going to open the gate up for him now and yeah <laughs> cool okay, no. okay, I'm gonna just cut there. I'm gonna just... like he might he might outdo me probably that's not very good oh wow look at that that is actually hello what was your opinion on that one that was a pretty decent tail up taxi i don't think my uh, skills are quite as good yet um but you know we'll get there maybe uh Kerbis can teach us a few things that's his name okay let's just get out of the way of this prop Kerbis Visser, with more hours in a tail dragger than Odin's botany enthused niece Bronwyn. He had a thing or four to teach us about trust. Seeing that we control the narrative, we're gonna take a couple of shortcuts here to get into the cockpit so we can go do that formation flying. Obviously with safety being our primary concern, we'll make sure that we monitor frequencies and we monitor each other. Hope they won't shoot me down soon. race and I attempted to film a totally sick and iry landing which I totally botched. We then mused as to Thomas's wisdom with regards to shorts and my addiction to jeans. Nice. That's why I say it's like keep it personal not too like professional where you could see it on like the Discovery Channel. Yeah. Like, yeah you know precisely. What I mean? Precisely. I'm well on board. Because people can Now your shorts are making so much sense. Eh? <laughs> yeah it gets warm yeah. We also got to chatting about some of our initial experiences in aviation. And it's, it's especially people like the other day, and I got particularly scared where this guy, just one guy that was visiting the airfield at Panorama, he was like, can you take me for a, for a flip? And the first thing he asked me is like, can I scream in the plane when we take off? And I was like, please don't scream. Because <laughs> you're going to make me scream as well. No, I would rather let him scream yeah. than physically do something. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> I find that when someone who's never been in a light aircraft, when they get in there, they're so intimidated because everything literally looks like gobbledygook. Yeah. Somebody who comes cold and has no idea what it looks like, I find generally the passenger have taken sit like this. Yeah, that's, this is really cool. Yeah, because yeah, they don't know how to react. They don't know, because yeah. it is yeah. such a visceral experience. Yeah. Like the first, I think the first four or five hours of flying, getting out of that plane, my brain was dead because yeah. it was such a bit of this speaking yeah. there's having to yeah. think about this and like yeah. literally burn the understanding of the plane into yourself yeah. you know what i mean yeah. like now obviously it's a little bit more second nature but but that's the thing it's crazy how quickly your body gets used to yeah. certain things yeah. that first flight you think how am i ever ever going to do this <laughs> I, um, I, so, I, I, yeah. I couldn't believe it i yeah. honestly couldn't believe it with idle banter aside we jump back to the planes took off 
and then a little bit more of that formation fly. Formation flying is probably the most fun you can have in an aeroplane. It is. Also, yeah. the scariest time you can have in an aeroplane Absolutely as well. Absolutely. Um, what I can remember from that flight is when you came up in front of me and I didn't know where you were to start with, that's when it gets a little bit yeah. shaky. Yeah. Um, but otherwise, it's super yeah. fun. Yeah. Um, keep your communication going yeah. well. Um, yeah. yeah, I think formation flying is a lot easier than people think it is. Yeah. But we've got to keep it safe at the yeah. same time. So. Yeah, so it's, 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 you know, start when it's calm and... Uh, yeah. Get your uh, comfortable spaces yeah. and then build it up as you go along. But yeah. important to pre brief uh, before you start it, yeah. and then also very important to communicate while you're in the air to, exactly. to know what you're doing. Yeah, and, and today we used one, two, three, four, five, which was the major frequency that we used to talk between each other. That's like a general chatter frequency pretty much anywhere yeah. in the world, I think. Yeah. Um, so we used that, and but also monitored the, the standard frequencies yeah. for the area yeah. as well. Yeah. And we had no real hiccups, it was yeah. super fun. So thank you so much, I've experienced yeah. an awesome thank plane, an awesome friend well. and an awesome, yeah. awesome pilot. I'm really looking forward to yeah. the next excursion exactly. whenever I can join. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button down below. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Off into that great storm he goes.